Hey, what's up y'all, it's Lorenz Tate. I'm here with Cocoa Butter, and we are about to take a trip down memory lane. Let's get to it, you dig? I've been acting for 30 plus years. I say three decades. It just sounds cooler, three plus decades. I am not sure exactly what projects that we'll be looking at today, but if we're talking about iconic movies or iconic projects that I've been a part of, I'm gonna say Menace to Society, seeing it was my first movie. Dead Presidents, just because I think it's pretty iconic. Love Jones. That movie represents cocoa butter. <laughs> and on the TV end, it has to be power. Maybe not power. And if it's not power, we're gonna talk about it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Tyron Turner. I don't know why you're trying to act like you're cleaning up. you getting on my nerves. Hurry up and bye. Don't stand, y'all. I feel sorry for your mother. Mm -mm. What you say about my mama? Yeah. You feel sorry for who? I'm getting butterflies because I know what's going to happen. What's interesting about this scene, Alan and Albert Hughes, who created this masterpiece, as I feel, like they wanted to have a real impact in the opening of this movie. And this is how you get people's attention, for sure. The one thing that really stood out to me is that store owner said something about his mother. I kind of felt that in my own spirit. So it wasn't written what you say about my mama. That was Lorenz Tate. That was me. It's a mind blowing scene, man. It's, 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 it's crazy. It's very uncomfortable. I was spending the summer in Chicago back home. My brothers were telling me, hey, there's this really great movie, great part, you, you should come back. I didn't want to come back to audition for it, but I'm glad I did. I knew that I didn't look like a menace. He was totally opposite than what I look like. I knew I had to go into that room with the Hughes brothers and really be as big as I possibly could. Legend has it is that the role was gonna originally be written for Easy e the rap artist. When I saw Sam Jackson on set, I didn't get a chance to work with him, but I saw him and I was just like blown away. I was like, that's Sam. Jada was phenomenal. People don't really know that Tupac was also casted in this movie. The early on of what we were cooking up was, was extraordinary, but the movie that ultimately made was, 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 was iconic. The next clip is Dead Presidents. You know, I still feel f***ed up about this whole situation. Mm -hmm. Look, feeling f***ed up don't know about goddamn thing. <laughs> It, man. The great Keith David. Wow. Woo, look at that scene. Look at that shot. Cold blooded. Woo. The music. A lot of things are going on um, in my mind. First and foremost, the fact that I was able to work with some real amazing actors. In the scene where Anthony is now trying to make his great escape, you feel real empathy because all he was trying to do was just feed his family. And specifically as it relates to black Vietnam vets and veterans who do all those things, you will believe that will allow them to come to have a place in a society that will give them the things that they need. And that wasn't the case. When I'm in a headspace of like, okay, we're in this era. While we're working, I like to try to keep, you know, things all in that realm of that era. And I can remember Chris Tucker, that's my brother. He used to keep me in stitches, just laughing. But I used to always have to remind, when we are listening to the music, don't listen to the music of, of, of the 90s when we are doing the movie. You know, I'm playing Al Green or Isaac Hayes or the Isley Brothers. And we used to have a trailer where my dressing room was next to his. This dude is listening to everything at that time. And I can always hear him dancing and he's shaking the trailer. And I would come out, I knock on his door like, bro. And he's like, Rennie Renz, what's going on, man? Listen, you gotta, come on, man. And one of those things, it's like, I was happy to have him because sometimes I was so into my Anthony Curtis. It was nice to be able to break that through. Okay, so the next clip is gonna be from Love Jones. I anticipated this. I uh, enjoyed your poem up there. <laughs> I never stop thinking about you. Ooh. I want us to be together again. Tell it. You always want what you want when you want it. Why is everything so urgent with you? Let me tell you something. This here, mm -hmm. right now, at this very moment is all that matters to me. I love you. Ooh. That's urgent like a mother. Ooh, go ahead. <laughs> Player. There it is. Woo! The music. Wow. 
to see black love like this was just really special. We didn't know it was gonna come out like this, but the universe was just working for us to really have something that's been special and that has been a classic to so many people for so long. Shout out to Nia Long. Let me just put that right there because I'm staring at her right now. I am not as smooth as Darius Love Hall. Darius Love Hall had it all. To see a black man in a place where he's vulnerable and specifically when it comes to love, real nice. The last one is power. We're sorry, it's not the right time to step to me. Okay? I'm here so we can finish this once and for all. Whoa, whoa, you don't f***ing give me what? I ain't gonna even hold you up. We can put the cards on the table right here, right now. Is that a threat? I finally face the truth about who you are, James. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I should've called you Ghost. Ooh. Who the f*** is Ghost? <laughs> he committed. That scene right there had a lot of people up in arms. For us to be able to play like this, for us to be able to do this kind of stuff, man. When I watch Power and I watch what we, what, what we do, I'm always thrilled because I have so much fun. This show allows me to just kind of live out sort of my alter ego, if you will. I was originally casted to play Ghost's attorney. Terry Silver. But because I was working on another project at the time, I couldn't do it. Courtney and I was trying to find a way to get me on the show. 50 Cent was trying to find a way to get me on the show. Once I finished my project, I was like, listen, this is me calling you This is or reaching out. This is not my agents or managers. I want to do the show. You just let me know what y'all want me to do. And she's like, it's interesting. We're still in season four and we're looking to do a role for a politician. Would you be interested in playing a politician? And I was like, absolutely. And that's a hard one. It would probably be between Darius Love Hall and Councilman Tate because they never met any real demise. They always winning. Any way, shape, or form. Do you think Councilman Tate is gonna continue winning? Yeah, I think he's gonna continue to win. <laughs> I think he's gonna, without any spoilers, I, I think he should win anyway, let me say that. Be sure to tune in to Power Book 2, Season 3 is streaming. Check us out. Above all, stay moisturized. Peace. You dig?